Hey guys, I've got this uh, BEC or voltage regulator here. Uh, these are available on my website and they are actually adjustable. Uh, by turning this little screw here, you can adjust the voltage. And you have to be careful with these because when you get them, uh, they do not come preset for 5 volts. So you have to actually set the voltage regulation for what you want. And I'm going to go through that procedure really quick right now. So I'm going to configure this one today for 5 volts. And so my setup here is I've got my power supply here. And right now I'm pumping 11.9 volts into this regulator. And then up here, which I've got on the other camera, I've got my voltage uh, that the thing is putting out. So basically... Uh, what you need to do is supply this thing with your battery voltage, some kind of voltage. Make sure you're doing this on a non-conductive surface. And you can just take your screwdriver here. And I'm going to clamp down this voltage by turning this thing clockwise. And I'm just watching 9.7654 on maybe an eighth of a turn, 7.9. I'm going to take this thing all the way to 5 volts. Okay, too far. Back it up just a hair. It's, it's barely any adjustment at all. 5.013. I think that's as close as I'm going to get. So, uh, you need to be careful when you do this, not to short anything out, obviously. And uh, let's take a look at this thing on the scope and see what it looks like on its output. Okay, so I've got this oscilloscope connected up to this guy. And, you know, there's no load strapped across here, so this isn't going to give us the truest trace. I might do that here in a minute. But you can see I've got zero volts on the scope right now. And when I turn on the power, scope jumped up to five volts and just a nice clean trace across here. Uh, you really, I mean, if I zoom in, you don't see any noise on that sucker. So uh, just a nice clean DC output on this thing. Even with a load shunted across the output, it's just a little resistor. Uh, you can see that there's still just no noise at all on the output of this guy. It's just a nice, solid, clean 5 volts. So one thing I want to show you with this is right now it's at 10.5 volts, but it's outputting 5.02. I'm going to turn up the voltage, and if you watch here, there's no change on my output. It's still at 5.02 volts, up to 12 volts, get up to a fully charged battery. Still, it's just real, real solid voltage. I mean, down to the thousandth of a volt. So, go up to 14. And still got some good solid regulation. So, uh, this thing is important. Uh, you can see how just having a solid voltage uh, coming out of your um, voltage regulator into your flight controller can really make a huge difference. Um, it gives you clean power, makes your flight controller work better, and this is the thing you need. It's the micro BEC from quadquestions.com. One other thing on this BEC is that on the bottom of it, it shows you where the input voltage and where the output voltage is. So you need to make sure that you know in minus and in plus are connected to the battery side, and out is connected to whatever you're connecting to, be it a 5 volt. Uh, rail for a flight controller or uh, 12 volts for 
video or anything in between. So keep that in mind when hooking this guy up. Anyway, that's the BEC uh, that I sell on my website and I highly recommend it. It's just a really, really nice uh, voltage regulator. Uh, more solid than the ones that you find integrated in speed controllers. And I'm just very happy with it. Uh, and that's why I sell it. So hope that helps. Make sure to set the voltage before you put it on your quad and you should be all set.